How is everybody doing? We're going to take a look at Keen Hopes and Fears 20. Um, <laughs> that sounded kind of strange. Keen Hope and <laughs> Anyway, yeah, Hopes and Fears by Keen. It's one of my favorite albums from the last 20 years, and it's 20 years old. It's just been released. Um, I like Keen. Uh, I think that um, Tom Chaplin is a fantastic singer. And I think that uh, Tim Rice Oxley is a fantastic uh, songwriter and a great piano player as well. Um, so I remember when I first heard uh, Somewhere Only We Know, I liked it instantly. Um, I guess, you know, Travis Keane, maybe not so much Coldplay, but they kind of came from the, the Radiohead kind of, uh, kind of Radiohead sound, I guess, in the late 90s. It was a new type of, there was, you know, a singer song where the thing kind of came back from, in, in Britain anyway, you know, there was a lot of bands um, going kind of back to basics, you know, writing good songs. Um, so, uh, Keen, yes, his voice is just fantastic. You know, he really is a good singer, uh, very emotional and stuff like that. So anyway, there was a 10th anniversary of this that came out, I think in 2014. And there's been loads of versions, but I have them all on CD. I have them all on vinyl. I have the original on vinyl, actually. It's actually worth a little bit of money now. There's also a vinyl version that's just been released too. I think it's a green disc and a blue disc or blue. I can't remember. Should be green, really. Um, I have that on order, but um, the CD kind of is appealing for me because there's extras in it. You have three discs. Uh, it's beautifully packaged. It's kind of almost like a... A reverse image of the original album kind of cream instead of the white um so you've got cd1 which is the album and then you've got cd2 which is the b-sides and rarities and then disc three are the demos so um it says here original album remastered at abbey road studios and it actually sounds quite good and i mean a lot of the music from the last 20 years has compressed and it's loud and stuff this actually sounds like I was playing it well ago and I heard extra details and stuff. It just sounds, it sounds nice. It's warm as well. It's well done. Um, B-sides and rarities, demos, booklet with lyrics and new liner notes. So let's start off with the, the booklet. These are all photographs from the, mainly the um, original CD. So the lyrics are in here. And then you get the sleeve notes. Um, haven't read them yet. Yeah, all that. So that's the booklet, and well, I think this is great because the, the 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 thing I really like about it is there's actually no live tracks, and that's fantastic because every time you get a deluxe edition, every time you get a, an anniversary edition from a band, they just throw in live tracks from a few years ago, and it might be an album that was twenty or thirty years old. And that drives me absolutely crazy because it's just laziness, it's filler. Like if there's nothing there, just don't put anything there. But, you know, and I don't like getting DVDs either because, you know, DVDs is just a documentary and you watch it once. Each disc comes in an inner sleeve as well, which is very nice. And um, they have this beautiful dark green color. Yeah, it's a bit darker than the original album, I, I, I think um yeah so this is very well done um again photographs from the original album and of course they're all the same color uh, yeah and then the demos demos are here him on the yamaha cp70 grand piano the electric grand piano this kind of makes this album um even though they actually did use different pianos all blended in together and i think they were all blended together nicely in um pro tools as far as i know i think the piano that was used on hey jude and bohemian rhapsody was actually used it's a beckstein grand i think it was used on this album as well so there you go um yeah so that's it um it's it's fantastic like i said no filler um and the b-sides as well i must add because i bought the singles when they came out um 
Snow Under, Fly To Me. That's one of the best Keen songs ever. That that actually should have been on Hopes and Fears. Um, I think on a day like today, an untitled, they kind of plot a little bit. Uh, they're still good. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's a great album. It's one of my favorites. I also like the one that came out after it, Under the Iron Sea. I think that's another very, very strong album. I am not sure which one I prefer the most, uh, but yeah, Iron Sea is special as well. Uh, great songs on that. Um, Something in Me Was Dying, She Opens Her Eyes, To the End of the Earth, The Way You Want It. There's a few of these I haven't heard. Alamande, Walnut Tree, Love Actually, Wonderful River, More Matey, Get Away From Yourself. I haven't heard those. Yeah, it's, I don't know what they were on, but I haven't heard those. And then the demos, um, more or less, for the whole album um, are here. And the dates, uh, 2002, 2003, all that kind of stuff. So there you go. That's Keen, Hopes and Fears, 20. Uh, certainly a beautiful package and well worth getting your hands on if you're a fan. I think they're fantastic. I haven't seen them live, though, unfortunately, and I think I might be seeing them soon. I'm not 100%. I did have a ticket for them the last time they were meant to play in 2000, but uh, it was postponed by two years over the COVID malarkey and all that jazz. But yeah, that's it. Um, the vinyl is just the dark sleeve and it only has the B-sides and rarities, I think, um, as the extra disc. So there you go. That's it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe and take care.